right? It's actually being middle aged what has made me grumpy because my head still thinks I'm younger than I am. I still think I can do the things I used to do, but I can't. My body's crying out saying, stop it. Um, I've got a bike in my shed. It's like brand new, but I've had it three years. I'll take it out in the summer, sometimes with my youngest lad, we'll go out. And I can still cycle 10 miles if, if, if I want to. Um, but then I can't sit down for a week afterwards. Because I don't do it often enough to get properly fit at cycling. I also do a bit of running. Now when I say do a bit of running, it makes me sound like I'm a professional or something. I shuffle along, puffing and panting. And I'll do it for maybe a few months at a time and then something will happen and I'll stop. Weight goes back on again and I have to start from scratch. Um, and I find that demoralising when I'm running along and I think I'm starting to get fitter and better. And then all of a sudden I get overtaken by a mobility scooter. Um, which is another thing. Is it me or is there more mobility scooters around nowadays? It's, it's as if we've been invaded by the Daleks or something. Now, nothing against the elderly or the infirm. But some of the people on these mobility scooters would find that if they actually walked a bit, they wouldn't need a mobility scooter. Um, talking about the Daleks, I remember Doctor Who in the day. John Pertwee, Tom Baker, that was my era. And we were actually scared of the Daleks, even though they had an egg whisk and a plunger for weapons and, a, and an old-fashioned gear stick as an eye. We were actually terrified of them. But uh, saving grace was that um, if we actually saw one, we'd just run up a flight of stairs. Um, that's not actually going to save you now because there's so many ramps and lifts around, and rightly so. Um, but if we did actually get invaded by real Daleks, we'd be in big trouble. Well, having said that, we wouldn't because if we just stuck to the paths and the roads, we'd be fine because there's no way they'd manage with the cracked pavements and the potholes. Um, I used to be really good in bed. I mean, if I must say so myself, in fact, I was amazing. In my 20s and 30s, I was really good. I mean, I would be sleeping as soon as my head hit the pillow. And I wouldn't stir for at least eight hours until the alarm would wake me up in the morning. Um, but again, being middle-aged, that's not the same anymore. And my wife often remarks at how terrible I am in bed. Um, it takes me ages to drop off to sleep, tossing and turning and... And I'm up at least twice every single night needing to go to the toilet. Now I should just add there that I have been checked and my prostate is in fine working order. Um, even though the doctor that examined me seemed to have a smile on her face and a little glint of revenge in her eye when she did it. Um, but yeah, I had an MOT a couple of months ago just to be sure. Blood pressure and all that sort of stuff checked. The engine seems to be fine, although the bodywork does need a little bit of attention. Hence the reason for the cycling and the running when I can. Um, talking about the prostate and needing the toilet all the time, it's worse if I go out with friends, which I try to do as, as I say often as I can, but when the opportunity arises. Um, and like most people, Breaking the seal is, affects everyone, men and women of all ages. Um, but it seems to be that after a few sips of whatever I'm drinking, I'm needing the toilet all the time. And, and not just that, I'm in there trickling along like a leaky tap. And probably 10 people will come in and out beside me and I'm still there. And I'm thinking, what the hell is this? These young lads come in and it's like a fire hydrant going off beside me and then they're gone, they're in there 10 seconds. And there's me still trickling away. That's middle-aged. And like I say, I've been checked, there's no problem. But it doesn't change the situation that I seem to spend most of my time when I'm out with friends in the toilets. In fact, if I was to ever go on Mastermind, my specialist subject would be the public toilets of pubs because I, I know them inside out. Now, when I first started doing this, I told my family and friends. And my oldest son said to me, 
Dad, why have you called it a grumpy middle-aged man whose wife is going through the menopause? He said, I, I get the end bit. He said, but you're not grumpy. And I suppose he's right. I'm, grumpy might be too strong a word. Um, but I find now that I've reached middle age, um, things is, they seem to irritate me more than they used to. So I guess that's why I've said grumpy. Um, but yeah, that, that's all that is. I've just become a little bit less tolerant to things that otherwise I could have just brushed aside. Um, but having said that, I've now had half a cup of tea and I need the toilet. And on top of that, um, there's been a dog barking through the whole of this. Uh, one of the neighbours, I think. So I'm just going to go and strangle that. Ta-da!